anything to add? Thank you. you first up. Uh, I just uh, I think about my family. I think about the people close to me. You know, um, I know uh, I know my um, my family. They travel far. You know, they sacrifice a life a lot to come watch me play. Um, they sacrifice a lot for me to even play the games. Just period. So, you know, um, just to, just so so having that in my head. You know, that's why I just go hard every day. You know, uh, grind hard. And, and, you know, I'm a competitor, so I, I want to be the best. So um, that drives me. You know, and I know I'm not the best. And, People overlook me and they don't worry about me. Uh, it, it makes me go hard, uh, a lot harder, because you know I want I want to be the greatest. So that's the reason why I do it. So. Who's next? Uh, Charles Forty Nine Media. Um, you know, what's it like working in that uh, that backroom, that uh, backfield now? You got Jerry McKinnon back there, kind of new faces. Um, what's it like? Just an idea of what that competition competition is like. I was hate, you know, because uh, every everybody's good. You know, those guys, those guys are tremendous. You know, and. Uh, Amazing speed, great hands, you know, uh, they, they, they got everything you want in the running back. So being a young guy, especially uh, undrafted free agent, you know, coming in with that competition, you know, it just makes you on top of your game that much more. It makes you get in the film room. It makes you stay extra, go extra. It makes you work out all that, you know, extra on that because, you know, this is at a level that you got to kind of catch up to because you're coming in new. And if you don't catch up to it, you, you'll be just lost in the mix. And you don't want that. That's, that's, that's exactly what we don't want. So, you know, uh, with that competition and the, the, the level that they're at, I say, I say it's great though because it actually helps me and it's making me come up that much faster. You got a couple hard questions right here. Um, <laughs> what was the motivation? Like everything, keep going. Oh man, uh, it was really my grandfather. You know, um, he he passed on uh, my junior year in high school, so that was kind of something I had to deal with. But you know, he just he just always wanted to see me do great things. You know. You know he was he was one of the people, you know, my father my grandfather he was he's old school, so you know, he didn't really like to travel, he didn't really like to go out much, but he always wanted the best for me. So I just wanted to give him something to be proud of. You know, I was his only grandson, I was the only boy. So I just wanted to make him happy at the end of the day, anything I can do and, and football happened to be that, so that's what made me just really lock in, you know what I mean, and love it that much more. And then when he passed, shoot, it was that's when I was all in. That's when that's when football turned another page for me. To just find that passion, you know, or that love that you got, you know, that you work for. You, know, you got your mom's, like my mom, she I want to help her out. We ain't had the nicest life growing up, so just anything to get her closer to just living, living in another paradise, what I say, because that's what I want for her, so that's what I'm trying to get. Hey, Jeff, uh, how important is it for you? I know there's not a lot of guys in the NFL from North Texas, so how important is it to you just to represent them in green and what you're doing? Oh, uh, man, it's. You know, uh, I'm gonna I'm say it put a lot on my shoulder, but you know, it just makes me, it makes me wanna wanna just be that be that be that guy to just really, you know what I mean, open the door and say like, he came from North Texas, you know, uh, like like it's, it's, it's ballers out there. But you know, um, big ups to 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 Lance Dunbar, you know, Craig Robinson, you know, uh, uh, I mean, we got several guys in the league, you know, but those guys are, are really active in the league right now, you know, and, and really going hard, so. You know, we just got Trevor Moore, Keyshawn McLean. So we're starting to get guys out and we're starting to turn the page at the school. It's just now we got to really just kick the door down and show that we can ball. What do you think Coach Latrell's doing to really build up North Texas and kind of build up their credibility? I mean, it wasn't long ago that a lot of people viewed them as just, you know, if they got a win or two, it was great. And nowadays people are considering them really good contenders. So I guess just talk a little bit about what Coach Latrell's meant to the program and what he's building there. I uh, mean, he, he, he's been a lot, you know, but, but the guy is, he, he puts it back on us. That's what, that's what makes us so great right now. I would even say great, that's what's making us, you know, our progress go up, you know what I mean? Because uh, he, put, he puts a lot of it on us, you know, and he's just the guy to make sure everybody do what they're supposed to do. You know, uh, he came in with a, with a high-powered offense, and that's exactly what we needed in North Texas. Because I know he's been down for a long time. But yeah, I mean, he's close to the trail, man. He's, he's a new era, you know, and, uh, and, and the program going up. I can't wait to see him go this year. This young man right here. You have a question? Uh, what advice can you give uh, Mark Well, if you don't, you're not going to play for one. <laughs> nah, but just like, like, like right now, it's, it's kind of hard because you can get away with, with missing days or, or workouts or, or missing this or not doing that. But, 
But the older you get, the harder it's going to get. That's why if you start preparing yourself now, when you get to that point where it gets real tough, it, it, it'll be easy. You know, it'll be cake walk. It'll be, you'll be familiar with it. And then when you get in those at first times, you know, you'll be like, man, I've been going through this all my life. I've been working hard all my life. I've been I've been doing this. I've been doing this, man. It's, it's just like every day. You know what I mean? So it's just, it just becomes natural. And then you're not thinking. You're just reacting. And then if you're reacting, you're always going to be better than what you are. 24-7. Hey, Patrick Ball for 24 7 Sports. Can you talk a little bit about how how it feels to have the pressure of being an undrafted uh, free agent, having to prove that you belong in the league, and then having to do so for an organization that's sort of as accomplished as the 49ers, but they're trying to get back to greatness? Uh, you know, um, you know, it's always tough, you know, um, coming on the undrafted route, especially coming from from a smaller college that's not really, that wasn't really that known, you know, and it's finally kind of coming out of the making now, so. You know, you kind of, you kind of just, I kind of just turn into motivation. You know what I mean? Like people give you the cold shoulder, they look over. You know, that's it don't, it don't hurt me one bit. It don't make me think. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, of myself, it just makes me know. Like I gotta go that much harder that way. Next time you see me, like you approach me different. Is it weird putting on that? Uh that 49ers uniform coming out of Cowboys country? Yeah, man. <laughs> that's, that's weird because, you know, I had, I, got a, I had a lot of dispute with the fans. You know, I, get, I get calls every other day. Oh, man, I can't stand it. But, but, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it's all love, you know, and they, they still support me, you know, and, uh, and that's tremendous. But, yeah, it's crazy, but it's, it takes it gets me, it takes me getting used to it. Yeah. One more. The, uh, sorry, this last row, but, okay, not hard. So how uh, I drafted Jimmy G last week to be my starting quarterback. How's he feeling going into this season? Got all season under him. Um, what's it looking like for you guys? How's, he, how's, it, how's the mentality on the field with Jimmy? Oh man, he's he's an operator. You know, um, he, he he's a guy. He he expects a lot from us. You know, it's almost as if it be sometimes I think he's a coach. You know what I mean? I'm looking. I'm like, oh, that, oh, that's this Jimmy G. But that's the kind of guy he is. You know, and he he has everybody attention in the locker room. Everybody attention. Just in the, in the 49ers organization, and I feel like he's gonna live up to his expectations. I mean, just be looking forward and be ready for the season. Did you change your Twitter handle, or you saw that? Cool? <laughs> yeah, it's still the same. Wake him up, Jeff. Nine oh three, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. 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 Last one right here in the back. Uh, Brett Talley from FantasyAlarm.com. Um, last year, Carlos Hyde was sort of the goal line back for the Niners. Rita, sort of third down guy. I got McKinnon coming in. He was behind Murray doing more third down work, not goal line. I'm wondering if you can tell us maybe who you think is going to get those carries inside the five, maybe. Uh, that's why I said, no, like, like answering the question earlier about the, our running back room. That's how crazy it is right yeah. now. You never know. So it just comes down to, to when the camp come around, everybody competes and see you know, through preseason and see who it's kind of fill out. You know what I mean? Uh, see who kind of can, who's going to take that role. You know what I mean? So um, it's, everything's up for grabs, you know. And especially in our room, that's how we go about it. And that's how we make ourselves better every day because nobody has a solidified spot every day. You got to come in and work. So by the end of by the end of camp, I mean, we we'll probably have a better answer on that. Okay. So, Thanks, guys. I'm glad. Appreciate it.